Hello, welcome to aonlinetraining.com software we learn a fashion designing to create a fashion layouts. So this is the interface of Photoshop. These are the tool properties and these are the toolbox and this is a canvas area where we have to edit the photos and this is a layer where we handle the layers of and we are in windows menu so in this menu we can go for the other palettes now if i go for a new file menu and this is a new documents how you just create a new documents just give the new document name and select the size you can define the height width on the unit of pixels because we work on the designs so we work on the pixels select the pixels and these are the color modes basically we work on rgb for the screen mode and the cmyk for the printing mode i just go for cancel it and just go open open my files for creating a fashion layouts i have selected a two images open uh, this is a model i just want to show and um, this is a shoes so i just want to one side the dress with shoes i just take an example of google i'm searching fashion layout this if you see this is a kind of layout we're making in photoshop a female with the model of the clothes inside this is what she wear it so this is how you can design in photoshop so these are the examples which i shows on uh, google so now come back on my photoshop now i'm going for selection first for select tool this is my object and it's layer palette in windows there's layer palette and select the background layer right click layer from the background layer so just because to add it on that layer now i'm making a selection of this shoes so i can just cut and just place to another document for layout so i use the magic wand so this is a paint magic wand so i just select that selection of this as you can drag and you can select the similar color shades of the pixel but you see there is a white shade also on the shoes from the background so i try i just go for the minus selection also quick selection tool it just work like a paint this is a one kind of uh, selection this is how you can just minus of the adding selection now i go for polygon lasso tool so you can just click click where is you have to curve just click and you make the selection on the zoom control plus so you get the variation of the pixel shades so according to that make the selection this is the one best po uh, process to make us best selection so i just used to be a just click click to make it a proper selection and space bar for panning you can press the space bar and just drag with the left mouse button so you can drag or you just pan your canvas So you should to be just make the selection from the background pixels to the object pixels. We just go on edge to edge.
this is another kind of selection in Photoshop there is a various type of selection to make it but initially uh, I'll show you that uh, that's polygon that's a tool and before I shown that paint magic one tool or we can say the quick selection tool also paint is just because it's work in the form of paint If your click is wrong, then you can press the backspace to go back and then go forward in the polygon lasso tool. So polygon lasso tool you can press the shortcut as L and layer palette shortcut is F7 Now you have to be complete the selection I just between to click it double click over there so it just complete the whole selection otherwise you have to be where you have to be start point and then you have to be meet that point to be click but initially I just uh, in between I just double click so it's like to create the selection it's no problem I go for minus selection if you see above on the tool option or you can press uh, if you don't uh, select that minus selection you can press the alt for minus the selection but I already select the minus so I just drag and just inside the selection I just uh, come out this minus from the outside yeah just double click it says minus just space bar just drag again I have select the minus selection of the polygon lasso so I just click it over there So you have to be very clear, careful about that where you have start that your point of the polygon lasso. By the end of this, you have to be meet that point to complete the whole selection. Otherwise, you have to do, which I did right here to minus the selection. But this is okay. You have to be learn how to minus the selection if it's already have a selection. Your selection should be uh, object uh, edge uh, pixels and the background pixel edge. So after that you get the perfect selection. Just double click to complete. Now it's a complete this whole selection. Select then you go for right click. This is refine edge. Or before that you can go for feather feather if you go for more pixels your selection comes to be smooth from the edge if they have a hard edge then you can cut from the background 
then I go for a new I change the units and change the size from width and height so this is my size of the canvas <coughs> then in image menu you can change the canvas size like if you have if you already take a size and after that you want to make it more size so you go image canvas size and these arrows anchor points to be show you like from where you have to be increase the size so i just paste it and just scale from control t and shift and alt please shift and alt for proportional scale because we have to be increase the size of the pixels So change the name of layer if you see that's double click on the layer text it's just because uh, to see that which is layer of the which content so easily to have to be selection on that now i go for this model i just want to make a selection of this dress So it's a navigator palette easily to uh, move and pan or even the zoom this palettes come from window menu now I'll select the pan tool with path mode so I just click and then next click and for the curve I just drag don't release that button click for the next step click for the next step and drag fit then alt and click on the tangent point like this drag click drag alt click this is all to uh, for the next curve to be break on the tangent point you have to be next click click drag you have to just drag this button so for make the selection of the curve alt for break the tangent point this and drag this click drag okay drag for to make the curves and alt and click so by if you just alt and click drag this next curve so in the next point you don't define that last curve you define your own curves otherwise without alt click it just give you the curve the next curve this is a pan tool just make for the precisely selection when you have a complicated dress and complicated curves so it's the best use to make the selection from the pen tool on the path mode again i repeat click drag for the curves click drag for the curves and just break that handles of the two handles between of the middle points just drag alt click click drag alt click
Again, I repeat, click, drag, for make curve, alt, click, click, drag, press alt to make this point. Just drag for the make the curves and press alt and click this point.
where you have to go single click. <coughs> click on the start endpoint so now you have to complete the path after you have to go path selection tool there's a white arrow tool path direct selections to adjust the anchor point select the anchor point and just move this handle to adjust the curve for precisely curves to make see all the curves should be in form of the with spacebar and drag now select this anchor point and change the little bit up so it comes to be in proper curve form this is how you can adjust this curves so that's why people use to this pan tool for make a precisely curves on the perfect selection This tool shortcut is P. Now right click, make the selection with the feather. I already said that if you increase the feather amount of the pixel, it give you more smoothness from the edge. So keep it point one. So after OK, then zoom out from the navigator. And just go to edit menu cut then go to the new and go for the paste and use the selection tool to move to make it position over there even control t for transform or added free transform and shift and alt for proportionally scale so the pixel will distribute equally from the edge of the image then right click to select the footware just is how you can select the object or you could just do the right click and change the name of the dress of the layer so you can easily to find out the dress Then go for this model. Now we have to take make a selection for the jewelry. For the jewelry selection, I supposed to be select pen tool P shortcut. This is basically precisely selection is very good from the pen tool. Just click. Oh, first you have start just a then click, drag, click drag click all the all plus so all just for the break the tension point and now even you have to just click click according to the precisely curve of the object you can do it also After finishing that course, just right click and make this selection. Then I just copy paste into the different layer and just cut to shift and alt, just scale, proportionally scale, and I just position that jewelry.
Now you go for the earrings. Then further remove the dot selection control D. Now for earrings, I used to go for pan tool. Now I'm so complete that selection of the earrings by using the pan tool. And we have click on the and pen tool and just right click to make the selection then feather give you point one then okay go for add it copy and just paste it and control T and then press shift and alt for proportional scale then enter then place the ear ring Just scale a little bit more so exact the size and for copy just select an alt and drag this is how you can copy transform flip horizontal to make the reflect copy of the earring after the copy it now I select the crop tool to crop it So I do the crop. Now crop tool reduce the canvas size after it's okay. I just cancel it. So when you do the crop tool, it just affect the reduce the size of the canvas as you see, and it's cut the image also. So it's you have to very careful like how much canvas you have to be crop. So first you have to be adjust the dress. So select the object and right click which the name is come on the top that's a layer of the top object. So just adjust the dress and its shoes also. So the combination should look very nice. For two layers, you can select the first layer and press the shift to select the another layer also. I just little bit uh, proportionally that shoes according seeing that dress should be big and shoes should be proportionally so everything should look in proportion form so this is how you can scale and the object and use the perfect position to look nice select the first layer and press the shift to select the another layer this is how you can select the so many layers in one time. Now I go for the place embed. For place that model. Then shift and alt for motion is layered. Just keep the position. So I just want to show that this model is wearing my other side dress earrings necklace and the shoes so this is a, we call it fashion pa panel layout you have to be designed these all in thing for a shot very easily as you see that now select the background layer and 
make it layer we'll go for marquee tool drag it and go for the foreground color black to be changed in different color which you want is the background of this panel go for the paint bucket tool and just click to select that layer and then click on the selection marquee tool even you can change that foreground color a little bit different paint bucket select the layer and click on the selection market tool and just go for selection and deselect use the craft tool adjust the position and then okay this whole thing is crop out change the name and you can save it in PST and after that you can save as in jpg also psd is the file format of for a shop jpg this is how my first things to make a fashion for queries Nada. please contact us on info at aonlinetraining.com have a nice day keep in touch